In the golden age of a civilization, nestled in a charming little town, lived a mischievous 10-year-old boy named Arsh. Arsh was known for his playful nature and his knack for getting into trouble. He had a group of friends who were just as mischievous as him, and together, they were always concocting wild schemes. One sunny afternoon, as Arsh and his friends gathered in their secret hideout, they brainstormed their next big adventure. Suddenly, Arsh's eyes lit up with an idea. I have the perfect plan, he exclaimed. Let's pull off the ultimate prank on our strict school principal. The rest of the group exchanged mischievous grins, eager to hear the details. Arsh explained his plan, they would train a parrot named Brian to mimic the principal's voice and say silly things during a school assembly. It was a foolproof plan, or so they thought. Arsh and his friends spent days teaching Brian the parrot how to mimic the principal's voice. They practiced in secret, ensuring Brian's impersonation was flawless. Finally, the day of the school assembly arrived, and the group gathered nervously in the back of the auditorium. As the principal took the stage, Arsh's heart pounded with excitement. He signaled to Brian, who was perched high above the crowd, ready to unleash his hilarious phrases. But just as the principal began speaking, Brian squawked loudly, I love bananas. The entire auditorium erupted in laughter, including the principal himself. Arsh's plan had worked, but not exactly as he had intended. Brian continued to squawk random phrases throughout the assembly, causing chaos and uproar. Arsh and his friends watched in horror as their pranks spiraled out of control. The principal, initially amused, soon grew frustrated and demanded to know who was responsible. Panic spread through the group as they realized they might be caught. In a moment of desperation, Arsh hatched a new plan. He rushed to the front of the auditorium, pretending to be the hero who could calm the mischievous parrot. With a confident smile, he approached Brian and whispered, Brian, stop this madness. To everyone's surprise, Brian immediately obeyed. The parrot fell silent, and the auditorium quieted down. Arsh had saved the day, but he knew he had to act quickly to avoid suspicion. Arsh approached the principal, apologizing profusely for the chaos caused by the mischievous parrot. He promised to take full responsibility and offered to help clean up the mess. The principal, impressed by Arsh's maturity and sense of responsibility, accepted his apology. From that day forward, Arsh and his friends learned the importance of pranks with limits. They continued to have adventures and pull off smaller, harmless pranks, but they always made sure to consider the consequences. Arsh and Brian formed an unbreakable bond. The parrot became a beloved member of their group, joining in their mischievous escapades and offering comic relief whenever needed. As the years passed, Arsh and his friends grew older and wiser. They reminisced about their infamous parrot prank and laughed at the memories. It became a story they would tell for generations, a tale of friendship, creativity, and the importance of knowing when to reign in their mischief. In the end, Arsh's mischievous nature had taught him valuable lessons about responsibility and the power of friendship. And as for Brian, the mischievous parrot, he continued to bring joy and laughter wherever he went, forever etching his name in the history of their small town.